I have been a recipient of, of Medicaid myself. I can, in good faith, oppose Medicaid expansion because it's not what I received. Medicaid is set up to serve the blind, the aged, and the disabled. None of those three categories that I just mentioned are covered under Medicaid expansion. We have created a welfare program for able-bodied individuals, uh, who, many of whom simply do not desire to be wage earners. I get phone calls from folks all over the state who look to me to represent them and to be their voice in the legislature. Many of whom are folks who have been on this uh, developmentally disabled waiting list. I've been asked this question numerous times. Josh, this list has been in place for over a decade and we've been waiting patiently and we've always gotten the same answer from DHS and that is we're sorry, we would love to serve you, but we don't have the funding. Yet they see us rushing out here. We see an active effort by DHS over the last three years to rush out and find people to sign up, to pay over $500 a month to an insurance company for them to have free insurance. We're having to steal from our most needy, our most vulnerable populations that are covered under Medicaid. We're having to cut services and take services away, pull funding from those programs in order to continue paying big insurance companies to cover uh, this expansion population, which has grown um, way out of proportion to what it was supposed to be. And I want to make sure that what I received, the safety net that was there for me, for a young, stupid redneck who made a bad decision, there was still a safety net set up there by our society that I was able to receive and that helped me rejoin the workforce and be a productive citizen. I want to make sure that that is still there for folks who may need it in the future.